dollar, 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 dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my promise. Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We have today. I might have to change this because the grammar part of it is driving me. These superheroes are murderers. Because if you're going to use this, it would be like this superhero right, proper, is a murderer. Right? What you say? This? I'm saying it, it's this superhero yeah, it's is supposed to be, a... Yeah, it's supposed to be R. Yeah, I'm just proper saying, grammar, yeah. Yeah, the, if it, that's, it's killing yeah. me. I can't, I can't read it the way it's mm -hmm. typed, but... It is what it is, man. But, um, <laughs> what? Nothing. You're just crazy. No, nah, it's been, like, we was going to do it the other day. Just the title bothered me yeah, so much. Yeah, I know. But, uh, hey, with the being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go. If you want to first pour, all you got to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Lock it in with a thumbs up. But I would like to see what kind of superheroes are we calling, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They actually are villains in instead of superheroes. If it, mm -hmm. In my eyes, if you mm -hmm. are. This you are a villain, correct? Would you would you classify it like that? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm still out here saving, you know, other people, but sometimes somebody may get in your way, and then you gotta do what you gotta do. No, sometimes bend over. Sometimes I super, bend over. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's see what's about you. Ready? I'm ready? All right. So I was watching that new Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man trailer, and my phone froze right here, and I'm like, "Dang, Dang that's a little crazy, is it not?" And was <laughs> it's crazy? Your phone freezing in 24 <laughs> Froze right here, and I'm like, "Dang." Dang. That's a little crazy, is it not? And what's worse, man, once my phone unfreezes, the damn brick explodes on bro's temple. I'm like, no way, bro, is not deceased. But this just yeah. got me thinking to how superheroes be like, nah, I don't kill. And then leaving Baba Booey. like this. <laughs> Talk about, nah, he not dead. He just knocked that a little bit. Like my brother in Christ. Any other day of the week, that brother would be sitting at the pearly gates. <laughs> like, nah, man, these superheroes is thugs and i got a couple examples to show y'all just to prove my point man first we starting off with these three hoodlums these three hooligans the powerpuff girls i know y'all oh, remember child. the time the powerpuff girls broke into prison and beat <laughs> the living hell out of mojo jojo i mean god damn look at that? this frame whole ass foot and mouth Nobody deserves whole foot and mouth while you beating they ass. <laughs> and after they finish putting no, these nasty ass pots and pans, the mix, the blood, whatever you want to call it, onto Mojo Jojo, they cracked little bro's helmet, got his brain on the concrete. Damn. Brain Damn. on the concrete. Like, look at me. Look at them and then look at Mojo Jojo's brain in the concrete and tell me that this nigga is not dead. That's, that's actually sad though, see. That's actually sad though. Y'all do the man like that. That's just fine. You wouldn't do it, so don't. You can't even try. If you, if, if, I said on. I was just playing. Let it go. So you know you capping. Brain on the concrete, and you want me to believe Mojo Jojo is not deceased? You mean to tell me Mojo Jojo is not looking up at the Powerpuff Girls? Because let's face it, bro is not going to have it. Like, damn, that ass beating was crazy. The whole brain on the concrete, and you want me to look at the Powerpuff Girls? Like, yeah. Those are some stand-up superheroes, but this ass beating in particular from the Powerpuff Girls onto Mojo Jojo felt like there was a little bit of rage into that. So I was like, damn, what did Mojo Jojo do to make them do to make make the mad? Niggas mad? So I watched the whole episode and they got Mojo Jojo's brain spilling out of his noggin onto the ground over some goddamn candy. But wait. It gets worse. Because at the beginning of the episode, the Powerpuff Girls, they save the city. They do their whole hullabaloo. The mayor gives them candy, and them girls is basically high out of their mind. <laughs> they want more candy from the mayor, but the- Say they pop the, pop the X. Know what ecstasy look like? Mm-mm, I don't. Like candy? Mm, how you know? I know. I, I've been around people that sold X before. Oh. Mm. 
Never been. I go lie. The first time I ever seen ecstasy, like like homeboy in class, like hey, bro. I look literally. I said, oh. I said, oh, you serving now, huh? Oh, you think you be, huh? Have you ever did anything? I'm a very sober individual. I'm talking about I sold anything. I don't lie. Have you ever? No. Like. Yeah, there's, okay, let's go. there's let's classified crimes. Everybody, I'm a, I'm a thief. I'm not a killer. I'm not a, I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm slick with mine. You know what I'm saying? Sticky fingers. Used to be. Anyway, child. What, what? If let's you was go. in a criminal let's organization, go. what would you? What would? I don't know. Every, I can't see myself. Everybody gotta have a role. Some is the enforcers. I'll be the head. To the hell you would. Some mm-hmm. are the enforcers. Well, some I... are to get money. Okay. And some are the slicksters. Mm-hmm. I was a slickster. Mm-hmm. That's me. Call me shysty. Okay, baby. Baby shysty. Okay. <laughs> 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 I said that for a reason, y'all. <laughs> <sighs> The man is like, y'all only get a piece <laughs> of candy when y'all say the day. So they fly back home and now they're just fiending. Wait for a call on the phone and nothing happens. So you know what they do? These delinquents, these thugs, these ruffians, they find Mojo Jojo and they propose a deal. This deal is you get to destroy Townsville, we put you in jail, we break you out. We do this whole song and dance all over again. Now, it's not like they're going easy on Mojo Jojo, man. They're beating his ass each and every wait, 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 wait. time. <laughs> over some goddamn candy, by the way. And chat, guess how many times the Powerpuff Girls did this whole song and dance with Mojo Jojo? Don't worry, I'll give you a little bit of time. What's your answer? Uh, just... You said you saw the episode... How old I am compared to when I was watching this? You say you say you were watching, but I can't remember though. That's your answer for every time, huh? Yeah, I remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember the amount of times. No. They did this twenty-one times. I said they 50. beat this nigga's ass, broke him out, and put him back in jail. Twenty-one. Stop times now there very well could be many more times that we didn't see but at the very least it's 21 and that's still an egregious ass number Fact. like is this the same day did this happen over a short course of time bro is this like a week span like how long did y'all do this i'm not giving these hood rats the benefit of doubt man i'm saying they did this all in the day not only did they enable mojo jojo to start messing up their town but they took their anger out on bro over some god Damn candy, and the mayor's not saving any of this. He enabled the Powerpuff Girls crazy style, and then Mojo Jojo gonna shed a tear, and Blossom gonna be like, uh, "Look at what we become, what you've become, nigga. This is who you've always been." And I can make this a whole video about the Powerpuff Girls being oh, insane man. murderers. I mean, just look at how Bubbles is carrying oh. Mojo Jojo to the mayor. You're telling me bro's not dead? Like, there's no way bro's not dead. They swapped this body out with his cousin next episode or something, because there's no way. And while you're at it, go ahead and lock the Powerpuff Girls up with Mojo Jojo too. Facts. They asses need hard time. Demons. Now, next up on the chopping block, it's kind of three entries, but they're all from the same game. And that's Insomniac Spider-Man, specifically Spider-Man 2. Now, first off, it's gonna be a little different because not only am I blaming Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Miles Morales, I'm blaming you because I'm gonna play this clip, but I'm gonna be watching you the whole time because I know some of you sick freaks be doing this in y'all spare time, laughing, chuckling. <laughs> and y'all over here just be juggling a dead man's body. And for what? This is how you get your sick kicks, brother? You do this sick, nasty ass work? At the 14 second mark, bro is cooked. Yeah. Matter of fact, at the 14 second mark, you crippled bro, and now you're bullying him. You're an ableist. Congratulations, you feel good about yourself? Now let's oh. talk about some of these finishers, bro, cause Peter and Miles be doing these Goodbye, niggas dirty, man. Like peep this one, Peter jumps in the air, slangs this nigga up into the air, webs himself through the 
drop kicks them as hard as he can in a goddamn chest. But hold on a second, he's not done there. His ass jumps off of their body, webs their chest, does a full 360, and slams their ass oh. on the ground. But look at that. Oh, did you see the way the body landed? Does a full 360. Yeah, that's a dead man. Ass on the ground. <laughs> look at the head. That's a concussion and a snap of the neck. Mm -mm. That's a. That's a. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm trying to do it because it's an impact on the head and then the. <laughs> I cracked myself up. But look at that <laughs> goddamn bounce, nigga. You're dead. And it's not like his body fell some high distance to where it warranted a bounce. Even then, that's still a little crazy. He bounced because his body got through as hard as it could at a goddamn floor. Mm. There's no walking this off in the hospital. Brother, you're a goner. But take a look at this finisher, right? Peter kicks bro up into the air. Okay, that's cool. Oh, Chill. wait a minute. Why that back turn? And then he kicks them as hard as he can in a goddamn spine? I mean, turn that and nigga spine up. into oh, a damn. He kicked them so hard. Now, peep this one out, bro. Peter just swiftly scoops bro up into the air. But now that they're 15 feet up in the air, he pumps bro's whole entire face and just slams him head first onto the ground like that nigga's gone. Oh, but I'm not done, man. Miles, bring, bring your ass here. Your ass is a murderer, too. I mean, just look at this, bro. Mmm. Kamehameha to the chest. Not mm. only Kamehameha to the chest, it lifted bro's ass up into the air, but Miles was not finished there. Webb slung to that nigga, grabbed him by the chest, and threw him down as hard as he could on the ground. I have no idea who's surviving that, bro. I'm pretty sure that come at me hard. You surviving that? No, child. Back broke, everything. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not. I was about to say so. <laughs> nah. I ain't gonna say it. It's a little too late to be making them jokes. Hmm? It's late. After this video, we got one more video. It's time to go to sleep. <laughs> and no, I'm not sleeping on the couch, so shut up. Who said something about just... Sleeping. Now they be like, he gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> he said never. Never. Mm. But um, now I'm gonna say you already got a bad back. That boy. Let's <laughs> 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 see. Yo, man, you be like, ah, can I pray they gonna be able to feast this this time? <laughs> he I have no idea who's surviving that, Look bro. At that. I'm pretty Look sure that. Did you hit that? <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> yep. Y'all killed him first. And then let's take a look at this one, bro. Miles kicks bro up into the air. Damn. On top of him and pause. Look at this. Damn, let's the nigga too. Damn, I gotta stop. I gotta stop cursing. You really is, do. Saying, Cause they be clapping me for saying the N word now, so. <sighs> you have to say every other word. I just upload it early so they can go ahead and get the video down. Then I can. I'm gonna get dumped on this nigga. Who's surviving that? This is like getting struck by lightning five times consecutively. Okay, this one's not as bad. He kicks bro up into the air just like he did in the other one. Starts charging up his venom lightning. And oh, nah. He what is that? Oh my gosh. Be an accessory to murder. And then my oh. like, he he ha ha, look at my fuck ass haircut under this mask. Like, who is this murderer for real? And I haven't even began to talk about Venom Suit Spider-Man and Miles and Peters tag team finishers. And I don't know which one to start off with first because finishers aside, Symbiote Suit Spider-Man was borderline just killing niggas in the main game. But the way Peter and Miles be doing these niggas and these tag team finishers is damn near as egregious. So I decided I'm gonna start off with Symbiote first. It's not a finisher, bro, but it's a cutscene. Just peep this. Chapel, quick. That was fun. Yeah, no smoke with you, big folks. Oh! Oh! oh. Uh, that wasn't me. Oh. You should ice that. Uh, you should ice that. Peter looked broke, dead in his eyes, after he committed attempted uh, murder on his ass and said, 
<laughs> you should ice that. I beg your pardon. That nigga Pete went off the deep end, but that's enough of the cutscenes, bro. Let's talk about these finishers. First one we talk about is that mean ass three piece combo he be giving the niggas, dog. I mean, just look at this. I felt like I was getting hit through the screen. Bro got sent flying back so hard he knocked the nigga behind him away. And you're telling me he's not cooked? You're telling me he didn't crack nor puncture ribs, organs, lungs, bro? That brother is a goner. And then we got this where bro does a little slide, encapsulates their whole head with the symbiote and slams them on the ground. But pause. Zoom in a little bit. Y'all see that? That's the ground crack off of this nigga body getting chunked into it. I'm going to say it again. That is the ground crack after a nigga's body got chunked into it. Now, believe you me, I don't think using a nigga's body like a damn sledgehammer to crack open some concrete would mean that said person was alive. The force mm -hmm. at which you would have to throw said person to crack open concrete would not leave them alive. And you expect me to believe that bro just got up after this, went to the bar, and threw a couple of brewskis back? Nah, that nigga dead, bro. I got one more and you can move on to the tag team finishes. Now, just watch this last one, bro. Me and him have some unfinished business. Do I have to say anything? This nigga's head bounced off the concrete like a basketball. He is cooked. If Dick Grayson could get hit in the back of the head and do a little, whoa, fall down and hit the back of his head on the smallest pebble ever and die, you expect me to believe full force knocking a nigga brain into the concrete like a basketball and they're walking that off like it was nothing? Nah, brother. Throw that nigga Peter and Rikers with the same criminals he locked up because this is ridiculous. Now, there's a lot of tag team finishers in this game. Some with Miles and Black Cat, some with Peter and Harry, some with Miles and Yuri, some with Peter and Yuri, but the ones I'm talking about specifically are the ones where it's Miles and Peter juggling niggas for no reason. Imagine you're just committing crime, right? Regular, regular day of stealing. Well, you see red and blue Spider-Man pull up like, wow. Well, I'm probably finna get my ass beat. Might as well go ahead and take these lumps. He slides under you. You're like, mm, okay. I see what's about to happen. And then Did Black and- Did you? I know she blind. I'm not blind. That, if you watching, let me see. He slides under oh, you. You're like, mm, I okay. I see what's about to happen. And then Black and Red Spider Man pulls up and uppercuts you with the nastiest lightning <gasps> uppercut you've ever done seen in your life. Now you're in the air, not knowing what the hell is going on. The other Spider Man pulled up out of nowhere, and now I'm 14 feet up into the air. Oh wait a minute, I forgot. Red and Blue Spider Man jumped up in the air too. Oh, I see what's going on. As he webs you up, pulls you towards him, and kicks you in the gut as hard as he can. Guys, what did the two of y'all need to do that for? Y'all did not need to do any of that, brother. I promise you, one of you was just enough. Or imagine this. You're going to go punch Red and Blue Spider-Man, but you get kicked in your head crazy style. He then webs you in the chest, pulls you close to him like Scorpion. You're like, okay, I see what's about to happen. I'm about to get knocked out, laid on my ass. But then you just feel you got webbed on your ankle. You're like, wait a minute. How can you web me on the back of the ankle and he's right there? And now you're hoisted up 10 feet in the air because both the Spider-Man done launched your ass in the air and ready to drop you down with the might of Thor's hammer. And look at you, laid out on the ground, no. knocked out. Got jumped by two niggas that had no business jumping you. You're just a regular goon. But that's really about all the Insomniac Spider-Man murders. I can say that he's committed. And I feel like I've talked about bro long enough. So let's move on to something else. Now, I love my son, Daredevil. Greatest superhero of all time. But in episode two, this nigga Matt dropped a fire extinguisher from the very top floor all the way to the bottom floor on this nigga's noggin. I remember watching Daredevil. You, do you? Did I watch it? Did I watch it when you was watching it? I feel like I, I feel like I did. Okay, whatever. I, really I don't, don't even know why I asked you because you always. I don't like, know. Irritated. No, the hell you watch? I know what I don't watch. I can't keep up with you and me. <laughs> I keep up with you and me. That's a lot. You can't keep up with your own self. Yeah, Every I, time I, we turn around, see you remember that? I remember what, what happened. 
You know my memory oh. bad. <laughs> Let me see. Daredevil. When did Daredevil? I feel like I do oh, remember. Lord. Oh, see, see. Fifteen. <laughs> fifteen. Uh, season three. Boy. All two fifteen to eighteen. So we would have caught it on the. Mm. Mm. So we watched a season of two together. Not necessarily. <laughs> I do remember it though a little bit, but not really. So probably not. Now, if you told me right then and there that bro died, I would have believed you. Or if he survived, I still would have believed you either way. It doesn't stop there. <laughs> Matt and Claire drag this nigga to the rooftop, string his ass up. Matthew starts beating the piss Ooh. out of bro, interrogating him. Oh, Batman yeah, yeah, style. yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Claire's like, hey, stab this nigga in the eye. Like, are we being <laughs> dead ass here? But we're still not done with this nigga because Matthew pushes this nigga off the building into a damn dumpster. And bro had to use his super duper hearing to check and see if bro's heart was still beating. And luckily for Matthew, it was bro, but any other nigga any other day is taking all this damage done to them, getting dropped off a building and dying. Matthew, I love you brother, but you're a little cuckoo. But that's really all for Daredevil. Let's go on to an honorable mention before we get to the last person for the video. And this honorable mention is Optimus Prime. Now, Optimus isn't a superhero, nor is he a nigga that doesn't kill. But I'm just mainly talking about bro be saying, Freedom is the light of, the right of all sentient, sentient beings. beings. Rip the fallen face ah! clean off. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Decapitation. This is the same movie he said that speech, by the way. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. I'm gonna rip your face off with hooks. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Cuts locked down in half from the bottom up to the top down. Like, this nigga's a psychopath, and I'm just talking about the Bayformers movies, man. Do y'all not remember the way he was flicking niggas down in Transformers 86? And I know the Viacons be talking about Optimus Prime and Transformers Prime like he is King Vaughn. Also, a more recent example is how he was doing niggas in Transformers 1. Bro, Transformers mid-air twisting a nigga's body off until they died. Like, this is a psychopath to the bone. But that's really all I really wanted to talk about for Prime. That's did you like uh Transformers? Mm. I know my cousin always used to love Transformers. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember anything. I really can't. I just, but I do remember see I do remember watching Transformers. <laughs> But I just can't remember my. I wasn't a big Transformers fan. I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? I think the first ep first one was Shia LaBeouf. Uh, what's her name? Megan Fox. I heard, I, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out Tennessee, you know. Yeah. Um, place to be. But, um, yeah, I can't say for sure. I can't tell you because I but, really can't remember. But after the first one, I was like, all right. <laughs> now, I do remember watching it. After the first one, I liked the first one. But yeah. after the first one, I said, See y'all later with that one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I like to keep it real like me. Why? What you trying to say? I ain't keeping it real. I don't know what you're doing. You might be keeping it fake. But I feel like I'm that was true. a little like. Nope, it's yeah, not. Yeah, because you didn't even have to say that. I like to keep it real. Like you didn't have to say that. Cause then you it's might like, like keeping it fake. I don't know. If you feel in some type of way, hey, the shoe must fit. But I ain't put the shoe on you. <laughs> it's like, hey, I got your shoe on right now and it don't fit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I do remember the, the first one though. But I can't say that I like them because I can't remember any others. Cause you remember when the first one came back, came out, everybody was hyped about the uh, Camaro coming back, the Bumblebee Camaro. I do remember that. And everybody was like, "Oh, I can't wait till the Camaro come back, and I'm, I'm gonna get that Bumble, the uh, yellow Camaro." But like the Bumblebee, I'm wearing the Bumblebee. Let's go on to our final entry in this video, Who we got? Who we and got? that is the Batman. Now, oh, I was yeah. just gonna go over a Batman bunch of ain't Arkham never been Batman shit, though. clips, but I'm really not gonna do that. So here's this clip to what sum up think? Arkham Batman. Ah! 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 Where is he? Oh? He's gone to see the little man, the Penguin. <laughs> he supplied the safe houses for the attack. You ever you like Batman? Yeah. Batman ain't. He ain't squat, bruh. He ain't never been squat since his mom and daddy died. They want to hear a big character for the man. And I know it ain't his fault. But it ain't my fault you turn out to not to be, you know. 
Because, you know, he gives me very much so like Elon Musk, right? This man, the man that got all this money in the world, but feel like he got to be Captain Save a Ho for everything. No. No. Like, e- the night's gone to pay. like Elon, just enjoy your money. Why you got to feel like you got to put your two cents in everything? That's Batman. <laughs> if Elon could be Batman, he would. You know, if you had all that money, stop, what you doing? Stop saying you know. I don't know. If you had all that money, what you doing? The living my best life. I'm living. I'm living my best life, minding my own business. I already mind my business, so just. I don't. You know what? I ain't even got to live in Gotham City. <laughs> Why am I want to live in Gotham City? City with all the crime. I'm, I'm a billionaire. Where you gonna be? Where you gonna be? Oh, Hawaii, Maui, or be in South. paradise somewhere. Chad. Par- I made paradise wherever I want to lay my head, but I ain't gotta be in Gotham. I ain't gonna be there, yeah. So the whole Batman thing don't make sense. Why well, I want to be a billionaire and take everybody else probably got to be mine, and I want to put my two cents in it. You know, just get your money, Maybe man. You're just bored. Boredom, make people do, you know. And that's another problem. What? He grew up too rich, so as a, when as a month for that bore, he like I gotta be in everybody's business. When you grow up poor and bored, you learn how to entertain yourself, but beyond some bull crap like this, that's why you don't ever see no broke uh, superhero. But I ain't got time for this. <laughs> to make my problems. I already got my own problems. I don't see no broke person being a superhero. I'm broke, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You go s- taking out the rich to save the poor. <laughs> you I'm know what dying. I'm saying? I feel you. Always looking out for my fellow broke man. <laughs> I feel you, child. So you know what I mean? Like you will never see a broke super. The closest thing to a broke superhero we had was uh. When Damon Wayne was playing, uh, what was? Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? Him and David Allen Greer. Uh, David Allen Greer. Blank man. Mm. That's about you know what I'm saying because they was in the hood. He was slow. If you ain't never seen Blade Man before, man, you most definitely should check it out, man. It's a it's an old joint, but it was a classic old joint, bro. Pay him for his services. That's it. That's all I know. No! No! No more! I remember! No! Please! No! 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 Remember something else? He uses a refrigeration company as a front. The trucks distribute weapons throughout the city. What's it called? North. North Refrigeration. Thank you. Now, the version of Batman I wanted to talk about today is a newer iteration, and it's absolute Batman. But before I talk about bros attempted murders, let me get the glaze off my chest. This is the coolest nigga all time. I mean, like, look at this. That big ass mangled bat symbol on his chest is just an axe, bro. Like, what are we doing here, man? Also, let's just talk about Bruce Wayne in this universe for a second, bro. Look at this big buff ass nigga. What does he need a suit for, man? This is like if Z probably pulled up wearing armor. You don't need that, bro. There's nothing on your body you need to protect. I could crack a bat upside bro's skull right now and he'd be completely fine. I think the bat would take more damage matter of fact. But now that I popped it off, I just gotta say, this nigga's a lunatic. Batman in this universe is broke, got no money, and decided, yeah, I'm gonna start killing niggas. Which I think is even more crazy because regular Batman in most comics and movie iterations, it just looks like he'd be dead ass be killing people. But I saw this Batman pull an axe out of his chest and cut a nigga's hand off. Mm. What do you need that for, brother? And it don't help that this nigga's big ass stature does not hinder his flexibility. Cause how did this big ass nigga do this kick right here, brother? Batman in this issue was fighting this gang called the Party Animals. Just a group of niggas going around killing niggas in Gotham. Sounds completely normal. Tell me why. This nigga's Batmobile. It's death on wheels, bro. This is the Tonka truck you be talking about in this music, brother. Who are you fighting that you need to pull this out on them? 
not only that, Broken pulled out the little bat ears on top of his body and stabbed niggas with them. In the comic, Alfred was like, you make these cuts so brutal, but yet you are missing every artery. Nigga, you expect me to believe that? This ain't a doctor's scalpel he's using. It's not a butter knife. These are trench daggers he stabbed this nigga with. You expect me to be like, oh yeah, no, he's completely fine after that. Nah. Like, who is this nigga Batman fighting in this universe? For, for him to need axes, a goddamn building for a Batmobile, and knives. Is this nigga finna fight Darkseid his whole damn run? But other than that, that's really it. Also, absolute Wonder Woman, Diana. What do you, why do you have that big ass sword for? I haven't read it's issue one for Absolute Wonder Woman or Absolute Superman, so I'm gonna get to those. But that big ass sword on Diana is crazy. I know she's gonna start killing niggas. But other than that, that's really it. That's all for the video. Moral of the story is, go see a therapist. That might solve a lot of your issues, but other than that, Facts. if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff, and uh, yeah. So what you think, did they change your mindset about some of these characters? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Dang. So you just on that type of timing, huh? You like Always. to see stuff like that, huh? Mm -hmm. That's trifling. But hey, man, y'all spend <laughs> us up in the comments, man. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts to the peas about it in the comment section down below. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ Duke. This is Sierra Nicole. We are Kid and Sierra. Yeah. Peace.